Hey friends, this is Saxon. Today we are going to discuss about solving 2D tracks in 3D Equalizer. Let's start. Okay friends, I have done with my 2D tracks here. You can see I have taken a lot of points. As I told you in my previous video, we should spread the point everywhere especially in parallax area 2 okay once you are done with the 2d tracks the next step is camera solve camera solve means taking a camera path or taking an output from our 2d tracks for take the camera solve go to calc calc all from scratch we have a shortcut for this alt c now you can see a new window came up with some details. This window is known as calc window. Here we can see a preview output of our sol. See the camera path here and these are our points. Once you are ok with the preview, the next step is to click ok here. Now see here there is a green cross mark came up for all my 2D tracks this mark is called 3d points these points will help to check the quality of the saw you can off these points from here 3d points one more thing you can see here is once you solve the camera our deviation browser got enabled here this is the deviation value using this deviation browser we can analyze the quality of our 2d saw now here my deviation value is under 1 which means quite decent these green lines are our 2d point tracks here we can check if our 2d has any jerks or vibrations or something now we'll check how 2d solve looks in 3d view for that we go to the 3d orientation control f6 here is the camera path and these are our 2d points see our points came in proper depth and the camera path also looks fine okay now we'll check how our 3d point came for stabilize the 3d point click on center 3d option over here yeah it has got stabilized if the 3d point is going with the 2d then our solve is good if it is not then we have to do some fine tunes that I will explain in my next videos. That's it for today's videos. Hope you guys like this video. Feel free to ask any doubts on this topic. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon for new updates.